When I was in the boot, I'd done a degree, done a bit of physics. And it's this law by this guy, Isaac Newton, you know? He reckons for every action, there's a reaction. So I've been living my life like that. It's my beautiful wife. But I don't think I love you anymore, Jimmy. Detective Sergeant McIntyre, you bang people up and then you slip into their wives. It's my granddaughter. Now I'd appreciate it if it wasn't too surprised. That man's Mamie Guzman, owns a load of pizza shops. It's only chivers. They're definitely shifting drugs from there. He's a dangerous man, big man, threatening me. I'm taking on the debt my granddaughter and her boyfriend now. I'll pay it off by working for you. I'm done with being a good boy. I think I should be taking Mary's guidance from a geezer his wife. His wife makes him sleep in a garage. Yeah, Sue gets a lot more annoyed with me these days. Yeah. Jackie will come round, you know. You and her, she'll, you'll get through this. People do. There's a copper right? She had an affair with a copper. Yeah, I, no I, I know, I know. I know. But you've got to concentrate on what you can fix. Ellie's home now. I'm not quite. All of my probation officer says, by helping Ellie, it's within my skill set, whatever that bollocks means. Right. I'm going to say that's Holly Jewess. Give me all this. You what? I've got no choice for it. Oh. I'll try again. Well, I've just spent half the morning trying to sort a mechanic. Where's my taxi? Let me be here in a minute. Still holding his coat for him, then? But it's my coat. Look, I've got to watch his back. It's what you do for family. Yeah. This ain't the godfather, Roy. He's only a bloody brother-in-law. She doesn't like me very much, does she? No, 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 Jimmy, it's not that she doesn't like you. She loathes and detests you with a passion you can't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, I know. The guy will give you a package. You give him the cash, and then you take it to this address. What's in the package? Fairy dust! What do you think, Jimmy? We need to sort you a nice big pistol. No, look, um, I don't mind delivering the cash, but not the drugs. And, uh, I don't want to handle a gun. It's a parcel force, Jimmy! <laughs> you just don't get it, do you, Jimmy? Yeah. You don't, Jimmy. You're a dinosaur when you were knocking over vans. Now you're a fossil. Go on, off to the crematorium. I need money. I need to get pissed. You sure that's a good idea? Listen, I was nicked in this jacket in the summer of 2003. I'm freezing me bollocks off and my ears are turned blue. So I think I need to get pissed, don't you? Where do you want to go down? Brenda's. Brenda's? Oh, Brenda's. Oh, Close down right. years uh, ago. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, give us the keys. No, you... Give us the keys. You are... Give me the... the two pairs. Oh, Jimmy, you're no, not driving. No, 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 that Roy. Roy, give us... Give us... Get off. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Look at those two, Nick. You've had it, mate. Hey, it's Pinky and Pokey. Pinky, 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 give me the keys. Roy, you don't mess up. Roy, 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 Roy,
And I'm, you truly, truly, the worst money launderer and biggest fucking pride in the world. But you're my mate, and I love you, and you deserve a better friend than me. Saved his life. Well, I had no idea he had a dodgy up. No one did. Well, he's never taken care of himself. Are you? Yeah. I'm so mad at you. I've been pretty bloody angry myself, Jimmy, and for longer. But I don't know whether I can ever forgive you. Probably you can't forgive me for the life that I've led you. We should talk properly. I mean, not the usual. Yeah, we should. How about lunch tomorrow? Where? Somewhere you can't kick off. What about Tegel Voids where we used to? He's not there anymore. No, I don't want to talk to him. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. That's all. all right, all right. Let's try and be civilized, eh? I think I've been a bit harsh, Jimmy. I, I do. No, I do, Jimmy. I, I put my hands up. I went too far. A father to a son or a son to a father. Should be the other way around, but it's not. That's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. So I've been having a think, and I... Yeah, I think there might be something you can do for me. <laughs> oh, one of our dealers got slapped by a crew from across the borough the other night. But I know something they don't know. I've heard about a regular pickup. Lazy, silly billies. Product a lot of cash. Every night, same place. Two errand boys in an alpha. We hit them just after they collect. Just like old times. Stand and smash and grab, you and me. It's what you get at, Jimmy. So the one going to drugs? No. Wash your mouth out. You don't have a choice. I'm offering you a one-off job to pay the tab in full for your little grandkid and a stupid boyfriend. Then they're safe for you, Stashton. Silly Billy. Two grand, two G's. It's a bonus. Walking around, money. Please take it, Jimmy. get one free with them two dads, Ellie said. Night, Granddad. Night, Mum. No more screen. Night, love.
Thank you, Mr. Rose. leaflets from the health centre. They're having assessment sessions today. Assessment for what? For drug addiction. For depression. Ellie, you've got to get clean. That means going down the health centre and being assessed for one of them rehab programmes. Yeah, and like it's that easy. It's not easy. I'll come with you if you like. Yeah, we could see, couldn't we? I'll go. Yeah. If you're going, I can. In the meantime, get some private help. You treat yourself. Couldn't find any leaflets for Grandad. Yeah, nice one, Carl. I'm really glad that Ellie's getting help. It's great news. Yeah. Look, you never gave me a chance to explain. Well, go on, then. I didn't know when you were getting out. And, um, I was struggling with Julie and Ellie on my own, and Steve was just there. The way he was. He helped me in lots of different ways, and I suddenly realised that I could have a different sort of life. But when your release date was set, I ended it. <laughs> we always used to come here, didn't we? <laughs> After you'd hit a van and we're still high on it. <laughs> Untouchable. Magic evenings. They were, yeah. Before the knock on the door. I never want to hear that knock again, Jimmy. Leave the door. Will you get a brief to draw something up saying that I'll agree to a divorce, then I'll sign it. That's what you really want. I don't know what I want. It wasn't true what I said. I do love you. I just want a normal life. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Happy birthday. I thought this would be civilised. You know, when I was banged up, I turned the lights off. I still see your eyes. I get lost in your eyes. Where'd you get the money, Jimmy? I took an advance on my wages. <gasps> you know, Ellie and her boyfriend had a tab with that tiny chivers. Yeah. Well, and as simple as that, I took it on. How'd you take it on? With what? You're not working for him. <sighs> Dear God, Jimmy. You could be back in prison for good. You have to tell Kerry or the police. I'm protecting my family the only way I know. You and that copper can't do that. I have protected my family with no help from any man for 22 years. I did the best I could, Jimmy. What did you do? some apples. Oh, great. Jimmy, didn't bring you back from the dead so you could carry on stuffing your face with junk. We talked about this. I'm going to be treated different from now on. Men are not cars, women are not traffic wardens. They're not ready doormats either. <laughs> mm, I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, me too, you silly <laughs> moo. When me and Jackie get divorced... Hey, Jimmy, come on. Oh, oh, when and if me and Jackie get divorced and if anything happens to me, 
I, I, it might only be a few quid or twelve. You haven't got popped no, pissing. But, but I want everything to go to Jackie. Well, yeah, I've got a will and testament here, but I want you to read it properly. But make sure it's kosher. How are you signing it at the bottom? You too, Sue. If this is what I think it is, a decision. Stop, stop. I've got something to say. Look, what I'm about to tell you goes against... goes against all my upbringing. This is about Jimmy, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but he started working for Tony Chivers. Chivers has got him in some sort of bind, and I... I think he feels he's got no choice. He's trying to protect us. But it's him that needs protecting. So you want me to protect Jimmy? I'm not being funny, Jackie, but how the hell would I do that? Well, maybe he can be persuaded to give evidence against Chivers. Tell you what he knows about his, his connections and dealers and stuff like that. Jimmy? A grass? That's never gonna happen. Please, Steve. For me. But are you being pressurised into doing something you don't want to do? No. You sure? Yeah, well, I'm not comfortable about this, but at least it's controllable and we can talk after. All right? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Five minutes long, please. Jimmy? Yeah, sure, that's, that's fine. Five minutes. All right. This wasn't my idea, but I can see that the situation has certain advantages. I know what you're up to, Jimmy. Likewise. This isn't about you and me. I want certain people off the street. That way, you get some credit and I get some colours. So, you want me to be a grass? <laughs> well, let me tell you, if there was the tiniest chance of that, You'd be the last copper on earth. It wouldn't be grassing if you were trying to protect your family. You have no idea. You're working with Tony Chivers. Bollocks. Not what I've heard. He asked me once. I said no. End of. Anyway, who tells you this shit? Your wife. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Out. You don't know what you've done. What choice did I have? I better yeah. to stop you. Is that why you slept with him? Is it to hit me? Oh. Of all the people you had to tell, you told that bastard. Now, I know many, many people, Jackie. People whose secrets I keep, and they keep mine. And if they hear that I'm a... Grass. Grass. None of our family are going to be 
be so... Tony is putting you in the firing line and you're letting and Steve is giving you another chance. Oh, well, maybe I'll send him a thank you card. I don't want you to die, Jimmy. Would you rather it was Ellie? No one needs to get hurt because Steve will stop Well, this. what do you want me to do? I want you to stand in the witness box instead of the dock. Do the right thing just for... You once. have no idea what you've done. No idea. Come here. Come on. 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 You know I love you. I'll always love you. Don't worry about all this. Yeah? Yeah? Listen, you can't. Go back inside, boy. Go back inside. I some more. I love you. I need a clean car, I'll call you. Where? <laughs> you don't need to know where. I'll pick you up. Weapons? They'll have them, so? What about me? I mean, what about you? You said you don't touch guns. I always pick up another mullet of cocktail. This is high risk. Well, these are high stakes. I'm writing off 20 grand. So I'm relying on you watching my back. It's comforting. Jimmy Rose, it's only two guys. You can handle it. Why me? Remind me of my old man. I feel sorry for you. Plus, you're a thief. It's your speciality. If anything goes tits up, I'm only losing a pain in the arse, not someone I actually care about. Honestly, well, that's refreshing. Good. All debts paid. Earlier now on the assessments today. They might be able to get on a residential rehab course. What about you? About me. I'm all right. If you can't talk to me, you need to talk to someone. You can't be on your own anymore. Right. I haven't been coping very well for a while now, Ted. Oh, I can see that. What is it? Is it some kind of depression or, or something worse? <laughs> I'm just crackers, Dad. <laughs> First of the things you think you can't cope with. And then of everything. Aaron? What are you doing? I can't do this, Ellie. What? I can't do it. Yeah, you can. Listen to me. I've been like this longer than you. Much longer than you know. Listen to me. As soon as I walked into that place today and the nurse recognised me, I knew I couldn't do it. You can. And you will have a better chance without me. Say that. We can do it. You don't need me. I do. No, you don't. I do. Look at the fucking state of it. No, no, but we can, we're going to do it. We're going to get better together. No, you've got a mum that loves you, a brother that loves you, and a granddad. I love you. Oh, I love you. Give me some sugar. I want... Please. Where's he going? He's left. Oh. Ha, 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 ha.
Chivers knew I was talking to you. Everyone would know. I'll be dead before he got a call. You wouldn't have to give evidence if we had him red-handed. No. Whatever it is you're doing for him, it's never going to protect your family. He wants me to call you a drunk still, being a muscle. It's tonight, I don't know where you're yet. Is that it? What if you don't want it? It's fine by me. I'm gonna need more than that to justify putting a team on standby with my super. Mm. Yeah. What about a wire? <laughs> I'm not even gonna answer that question. Look, you gotta know his drugs there. There's some very, very dangerous people. Oh, and by the way, she was a bit sold up. That's it. So I'll sign it and it's done, yeah? 40 years of marriage. We don't have to do this I want to do it now. What's happened with Explain Steve? Explain it to me. I've done what you wanted. I spoke to him. in the car park. I don't know where else we're going yet. Can you be there? I don't know. It's a little tight. We might miss you. We'll use the mobile trace. Love that phone, Jimmy. Lose that and we lose you. Make sure the GPS is on. Right, everyone, let's go! We're moving, let's go! Come on, let's go. Let's go. you invite me in for dinner. If you're looking for a while, you know me better than that. No, Jimmy, no, Jimmy! Why would you bring a phone with you, Jimmy? Now pull over! Jimmy, stop. Get it out. Rip it out of your panties, real slow. I want to see who's phoning you. It's my probation officer, Tom. That's why I had to bring it with me, Tom. Put it on loudspeaker. How'd you do that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know how to? Give me your ear. Hello? Jimmy? Kerry? Oh, I need to talk to you. It's important. Yeah, well, it's a little bit inconvenient at the moment, darling. And you're working very late. Yeah, well, I just picked up a message from your employer, Andy. He says you chucked the job in. Yeah, well, it, it turns out I'm, I'm not a DIY type of guy, you know? Drive.
Jackie, have you heard from Jimmy? His phone's dead. Haven't you heard from him? I thought you were supposed to be his protection. Only if he cooperates. He's chucked his phone in the car park. The trace is stationary, so now he's solo, just how he likes it. Give him more time, please. What's a crim always a bloody crim? I'm gonna call probation. I'm gonna tell them the whole story, then he'd be back where he belongs. your lunch money, darling? Yeah. Well, this is where I leave you. You're not coming with me. There's always going to be a solo run, Jimmy. But I'll be watching. Well, if so, you're going to shoot me in the back if I feel my toes. Better pick up the goods, dump the motor, and we'll hook up later. If you try and do a run, I remember. I got addresses of your nearest and dearest, so... I'm fond of you. Try not to get shot. Did you expect me to do that? Pray. Fuck you, Ben. Do you want pepperoni on your You where? Are you mad? You better get yourself down here lively. Yes. Mr. Guzman? Mr. Rose. It seems your turn is too sure, Gaff. Well, probably like
Sorry. What's this? Our police, get down! Drop your weapons! The red arms! Stay where you are! Thanks for the call. I thought you'd done a runner. I should have done it. You may still be in breach of your license. I'll contact probation and inform them of your cooperation. Can I go? No. You have to make a statement. I'm not going down the neck. No. Oh. We could do it now, or I could come over later. Do it now. You go anywhere near my home. And I will be in breach. Sure, you still have a home, Jimmy. If I lost Jimmy, I'd be devastated. If I lost you, I'd be sad. I knew I wasn't going to like it. I do want another life. But I'm not sure it's you, Steve. What's going on with you two? What? What? <laughs> so you're not going back to prison, are you, Grandad? Nah. So you did the right thing? Well, that's a matter of opinion. Oh, well, I've also got you this. Mm. OK. Selfie on a stick. No, no, not just selfie stick. <laughs> yeah, come in here. Come in here. Here we go. Here we go. Come in. All smiling. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Joe, smile. Oh. Stop being the wet blanket. <laughs> Hello, baby. You hold it. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Ready? Joe. Do you know how old I was when I first got nicked? 
I don't want to hear your deprived childhood crap, Dad. I'm really sorry. No, listen to me. No, no, no. You listen to me. Because the thing is, at least your father was always there for you. You know, there's a, there's a price to be paid for the life that I led. And I'll pay that. And I'm really, really sorry for that. I'd love to thank Sue for organising this little welcome home party. <laughs> and, of course, Jax for letting us have him <clears throat> here in our home. Yeah, pleasure. Rather than the garage I've been living in recently. <laughs> um, I was quite surprised, actually. Then he gave you a heart attack. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> um, but I'd like to propose a toast to all of us in our wicked ways <laughs> and to survival. Uh, survival. 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 Yeah, which I'm in two minds about, as it happens. Two? You've barely got one. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had my hair cut for you, didn't I? Oh, hey? oh that's nice. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> you know I love you, right? Try that again without the question mark. Jimmy. No question. I just hate it that he's right, you know, I hate it. It's okay. I hate it so much. It's okay. 